The European arrest warrant, to my mind, represents one of the most significant underminings of our liberties and freedoms in this country. There are many things you can point to uh, as attacks on long-held freedoms in this country, but few are as significant as the European arrest warrant or the European investigation order. If I had to list in order of precedence the ones that I was most concerned about, the European arrest warrant would be right at the top of the civil liberties agenda. And considering like um, most of the nations in the EU are recognised as democratic, um, do you think having such a system um, goes against um, the democratic norms of a supposedly liberal uh, society? I wouldn't suggest that countries in Europe and the European Union aren't democratic. Mm. What I would suggest is that they have very different histories and traditions of law. Mm. We in the United Kingdom have a long-standing and honourable tradition of the common law, which is very different to the Napoleonic Code and it's very different to the practices that go on in a large number of other European countries. And it's important to be honest and direct about this issue. We have a first-class legal system in the United Kingdom. It isn't for the most part corrupt, and it is for the most part accurate and well informed. All of those things put it far beyond the systems in countries like, for example, Romania, Bulgaria or Greece. And it's a simple fiction to pretend that the system of justice in those countries is as good as ours. People definitely don't know enough about the European arrest warrant, and what I would really stress is that it can happen to anyone, is that the European arrest warrant could happen to you. Uh, it's a system that doesn't require a prima facie case beyond filling out a form to go in front of a British judge. So you can be made the subject of an arrest warrant for something that isn't even an offence in the United Kingdom. So you can say what you like about Holocaust denial, uh, which I abhor personally, but you, that debate should be held out in the public space, rather than someone in Britain being hauled off to Germany or Austria to face charges for something that isn't a crime here or the Portuguese offence of criminal defamation, which is not a obviously isn't a criminal offence in the UK. Equally, you can be extradited to face a charge under that in Portugal, and you can face that charge and spend time in their justice system for months before you receive proper justice. That can't be right. It's worth considering the cases of individuals who are affected by the European arrest warrant, because it's not just some theory. This happens to individuals in the UK, and it's now happening every day. Edmund Arapi was a waiter in Staffordshire who was extradited because he was convicted in his absence of a murder charge. Now, of course, it was proved by British authorities that he'd never left the country in 2004 when that was supposedly uh, committed. But European police accuse him of doing something wrong. He spends months in British prisons. We arrest him before, uh, in the end, his name is cleared. Simple case by the Italians of mistaken identity. Andrew is a young man uh, who was on holiday in Greece. Uh, during that time, uh, an unfortunate uh, gentleman by the name of Jonathan Harves uh, had a uh, tragic accident uh, where he fell off a dance floor and subsequently died a few days later. Uh, Andrew was arrested uh, and he had left the country, uh, but he was arrested under the European arrest warrant. He then fought a two-year case through the courts in the United Kingdom uh, to try and prevent his extradition under this treaty for a number of reasons. Uh, Andrew uh, maintains he was never there and that the evidence was flawed. Subsequently, it turned out that even British judges commented on what they saw as flawed or certainly questionable evidence from witnesses that put Andrew at the scene of where this tragic incident took place. The main problem uh, is that we signed up to the European arrest warrant many years ago in uh, early 2000. As a result, pretty much any British citizen can be extradited to a fellow European country under this warrant as a result of a tick box exercise and without any scrutiny of prima facie evidence to support the application. That's where we are today. If this matters to you, then you should tell your MP about it and you should join the Freedom Association. Because in my view, there are few things that are as important to everyone's liberty than fight standing up against and fighting 
the European arrest warrant and the European investigation order which is attached to it. The other thing to say about the EIO is that it empowers foreign police services, it empowers foreign officials to conduct investigations in this country for months on you without your knowledge. That is anathema to me, it's anathema to British justice and it must be stopped.